I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Brixton Metals Corporation has released additional high-grade silver results from its exploration program at its wholly owned Langus Mine project. The past producing Langus Mine is located 500 kilometers north of Toronto, Ontario, just north of the northern end of Lake Temascoming. The Langus mine produced 10.6 million ounces of silver at 25 ounces per ton silver and 358,340 pounds of cobalt. Historically, the combined mines in the cobalt camp produced over 550 million ounces of silver with 30 to 50 million pounds of cobalt as a byproduct. A silver mineralization at Langus occurs as native silver and within steeply, moderately, and in some cases, shallow dipping veins, veinlets, and as disseminations, rosettes, and fracture infill. It can be associated with calcite, hematite, pyrite, cobaltite, calcopyrite, nickelite, and gold. The fall winter 2020 to 2021 program consisted of a total of 18,453 meters of NQ core over 163 holes. Today's results are from the last 14 unreleased holes LM21240 to LM21253, which were focused on the shaft 6 area. Highlights include hole LM21242 with 3 meters of 1,341 grams per ton silver, 0.06% cobalt from 128 meters in depth, which included 1 meter of 2,060 grams per ton silver and 0.06% cobalt. Hole LM21245 returned 24 meters of 187 grams per ton silver and 0.02% cobalt from 131 meters in depth, which included 10 meters of 356 grams per ton silver and 0.02% cobalt, which further included 2 meters of 1,077 grams per ton silver and 0.04% cobalt. Hole LM21233 was previously released but now includes assays for zinc and nickel. Highlights from this hole are the 68 meters of 14.3 grams per ton silver, 0.12% nickel, 0.01% cobalt, and 0.01% zinc, which included 6 meters of 78 grams per ton silver, 0.23% nickel, and 0.02% cobalt, and 0.01% zinc. Gary R. Thompson, Chairman and CEO, stated, The recent fall-winter program was very successful in identifying new silver bonanza zones near the old workings and was highlighted by broad zones of silver cobalt mineralization. We are in the process of modeling these results to further define next steps for the project with a primary goal of moving a number of targets into a maiden resource category. The nickel mineralization appears to be wide open and we believe it warrants further exploration. Christina Anstey, VP of Exploration, added, We are encouraged by the continuous occurrences of high-grade silver and cobalt intercepts at Langus. Additionally, recent drilling has identified a significant nickel anomaly for which further work is needed to determine the full extent of the nickel potential. While nickel is known to occur in the cobalt camp, limited exploration has focused on it. Future plans may include targeting zones of potential high-grade nickel during the next phase of drilling. In addition to the Langus project, the company is advancing three other wholly owned exploration projects toward feasibility. Its flagship Thorn Gold Copper Silver project is a district scale exploration opportunity located in the northern tip of the Golden Triangle of British Columbia. Its Atlan Goldfields project is an early stage gold exploration play, and Hog Heaven Silver Gold Copper project in northwest Montana is now under a joint venture with High Power Exploration. The shares are trading at 23 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, BrixtonMetals.com. Contact Gary R. Thompson, Chairman and CEO at 604-630-9707 or email info at BrixtonMetals.com. Investor Relations is handled by Mitchell Smith, VP Investor Relations, who can be reached at 604-630-9707 or by email at Mitchell.Smith at BrixtonMetals.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.